I'm not going to do or make a somber video because that's not what the type you would expect of me or anyone else, actually. Um, and this video is purely out of necessity because of the wild times we live in with disinformation and fake news and all the wild stuff that gets posted out there. We did lose Tabiso this morning, I think around 6.30. We are told it could have been a cardiac event, but what would have caused it, it hasn't been ascertained. So we await a post-mortem that will give everyone clarity because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to anyone how this would happen out of the blue. And, um, yeah, we'll keep you updated on memorial and funeral plans. And as our firstborn son, uh, YBF said, uh, Dad, I hope you're going to honor your gig bookings because that's what mom would want. Just like she did when Wandi was born. Um, Wandi is a 15-year-old. Um, Wandi arrived a tad early. And I had a booking in Durban. And I remember being busy trying to cancel that booking. I was busy with my with my office trying to cancel that booking. And um, in between delivery, she's like, when this baby pops, if this baby pops today, you will honor your booking. So YBF is on some, just make sure you honor Ma. Make sure you represent. But please don't cancel the bookings. Still in two minds about it, so yeah. But yeah, she is gone. <sighs> Our sincere condolences to you and yours, Fresh. Much love to you and the kids. Your last podcast with her makes all this unreal. She walked a race, left her mark in this world, and we surely have a story to tell. May a beautiful soul rest in peace. So the radio and television personality, the former wife of DJ Fresh, Tabiso Sikwane, has passed away at the age of 50. Her family announced their passing, highlighting her dedication to Christ, her family, and the media and entertainment industry. She left an incredible mark on colleagues and audience alike. Part of the statement reads, Many are shocked having watched her recently on DJ Fresh's podcast, what a week. Tabiso and DJ Fresh were married for 20 years before filing for divorce in 2022. During the podcast, she spoke about her love for God and how she is in awe of the love God continues to show her. She mentioned that God has given her the peace spoken of in the Bible. She also discussed co-parenting with her ex-husband despite their marriage ending. She acknowledged the challenges single mothers face, but encouraged them to persevere, to be gentle with themselves. Tributes continue to pour in as many expresses their shock and sadness over the passing of the re-owned radio and TV personality. May her soul rest in peace and may God be with the family during this difficult time. She left an incredible mark on colleagues and audience alike. During her illustrious career on radio and TV, she produced, hosted, covered significant events, shaped narratives, and inspired many, her family said. DJ Fresh spoke what might have caused her death, but they are still waiting for the final results. The family stated memorial and funeral arrangements will be announced in the coming days. Additionally, on Friday, her former husband, DJ Fresh, shared part of their podcast interview on his YouTube channel, which was part one. So definitely there is part two. There is more that they spoke about. But just a day after he posted, she then passed away. But in the podcast, they mentioned, they said the last time we sat across from each other on mics, we were doing a show together at YFM. This is what Fresh commented. In response, Tabiso said, The last time we sat across from each other, you surprised me on Valentine's Day for all you need is love. In the podcast, she expressed gratitude for the love she received from God, stating, 
God has come through for me by giving me the peace that he talks about in the Bible in his word. This is my manual for life, reminding me that he has not given me a spirit of fear. But one thing that I loved about the podcast that he did is that no matter how long a couple has been married, the journey after divorce can lead to forgiveness and even friendship. And friendship can even be way, way better. Tabiso and DJ Fresh, the ability to come together for a podcast is a testament to the strength of their bond beyond marriage it shows that relationships can transform in meaningful ways offering healing and understanding their decision to share that moment together before her passing is a powerful reminder of reconciliation and grace i never thought i was gonna see this coming anytime soon but seeing them sitting together and reminding each other of their life and their love life it was actually something that was amazing but to Tabiso's family and friends during this challenging time, hold on to the love and memories you shared with her. God's love is a constant offering peace, strength when you need it most. Remember that you are not alone and countless people surround you with love and support. Stay strong and know that Tabiso's legacy lives on in the hearts of all those who knew her. Until the next time, peace.